Welcome to this daily office with the Iona community, which is taken from the Iona Abbey worship book. The service follows the form of morning prayer which we use on Iona, and so there are different prayers and psalms each day, and, over the course of each month, a cycle of prayers for the world, for different communities, and for the concerns of the Iona community. The service is interactive and you are invited to join with the responses, psalm and prayers. You'll see all the words you need on the screen. Through the week you will also hear different voices, those of staff, of members, of associates and of their families responding along with you. The world belongs to God, the, the earth, earth and, and all its people. people. How good it is, how wonderful, to, to live, live together, together in, in unity. unity. Love and faith come together, justice, justice and, and peace, peace join hands. hands. If Christ's disciples keep silent, these, these stones, stones would shout, shout aloud. aloud. Open our lips, O God, and our, and our mouths, mouths shall proclaim your praise. praise. Move among us, God, give us life. Let, Let your, your people, people rejoice, rejoice in, in you. Give us again the joy of your help. With, With your, your spirit, spirit of freedom, freedom sustain, sustain us. us. God, make our hearts clean. Restore, Restore us in body, body mind, mind and, and spirit. spirit. Let us pray. Trusting in God's forgiveness, let us in silence confess our failings and acknowledge our part in the pain of the world. Before God, with the people of God, I confess to turning away from God in the ways I wound my life, the lives of others and the life of the world. May God forgive you, Christ renew you, and the Spirit enable you to grow in love. Amen. Before God, with the people of God, we confess to turning away from God in the ways we wound our lives, the lives of others, and the life of the world. May God forgive you, Christ renew you, and the Spirit enable you to grow in love. Amen. So now, as Jesus taught us, we say, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our day bread, and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us in the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. With the whole church, 
We affirm that we are made in God's image, befriended by Christ, empowered by the Spirit. With people everywhere, we affirm God's goodness at the heart of humanity, planted more deeply than all that is wrong. With all creation, we celebrate the miracle and wonder of life, the unfolding purposes of God, forever at work in ourselves and the world. Praise God. Praise God, O my soul. As long as I live, I'll sing praise to my Maker. Do not put your trust in human leaders, in mortals who cannot save you. When, when they, they stop breathing, they return to the earth. On that day, their plans perish. Those whose joy knows no bounds find their help and their hope in God. God made the heavens and the earth the seas and all they contain. God keeps faith, deals out justice, and gives food to the hungry. God sets the prisoners free and opens the eyes that are blind. God lifts up those who have fallen and loves those who practice goodness. God cares deeply for the stranger, supports the widowed and orphaned, and ruins the schemes of the wicked. Praise, Praise God, God who rules forever, from generation to generation. Listen now in the reading of Scripture for the word and wisdom of God. The reading is taken from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 8, verses 9 to 25. For some time, a man named Simon had practised sorcery in the city and amazed all the people of Samaria. He boasted that he was someone great, and all the people, both high and low, gave him their attention and exclaimed, This man is rightly called the great power of God. They followed him because he had amazed them for a long time with his sorcery. But when they believed Philip as he proclaimed the good news of the kingdom of God and the name of Jesus Christ, they were baptised, both, both men and women. Simon himself believed and was baptised, and he followed Philip everywhere, astonished by the great signs and miracles he saw. When the apostles in Jerusalem heard that Syria had accepted the word of God, they sent Peter and John to Samaria. When they arrived, they prayed for the new believers there that they might receive the Holy Spirit, because the Holy Spirit had not yet come on any of them. They had simply been baptised in the name of the Lord Jesus. Then Peter and John placed their hands on them and they received the Holy Spirit. When Simon saw that the Spirit was given at the laying on of the apostles' hands, he offered them money and said, Give me also this ability so that everyone on whom I lay my hands may receive the Holy Spirit. Peter answered, May your money perish with you, because you thought you could buy the, the gift of God with money. You have no part or share in this ministry, because your heart is not right before God. Repent of this wickedness, and pray to the Lord in the hope that he might forgive you for having such a thought in your heart. For I see that you are full of bitterness and captive to sin. Then Simon answered, Pray to the Lord for me, so that nothing you have said may happen to me. After they had further proclaimed the word of the Lord and testified about Jesus, Peter and John returned to Jerusalem preaching the gospel 
in many Samaritan villages. the word of God in scripture, for the word of God among us, for the word of God within us, thanks, thanks be, be to, to God. God. God loved the world so much, this we know, this we know, God loved the world so much, this we know. God loved the world so much, the world and not the church, that Christ came into touch, into time, into view, declaring he would make all things new. When people heard his voice, all were changed, all were changed. When people heard his voice, all were changed. When people heard his voice, saw radical sun rejoice. He came to vindicate what was right, what was right. Expose deceit and shame. How might I know you, God? You come to me in beauty and wonder, in the towering mountains, in the tranquil glens, in the blossoming flowers. So we praise you, Creator God. How might I see you, God? You show me a God like me in Jesus' life, in compassion and healing, in commitment and service, in the width of the human experience. So we praise you, human God. How might I feel you, mysterious God? You reveal yourself in the love of your people, in our commitment to justice and peace, in our welcome of the stranger. So we praise you, awesome God. In beauty, in loving, in service, we know you again and again, so we praise you and praise you some more. Amen. On the 26th day of the month, 
we pray for the growth and deepening of our life as an ecumenical Christian community. And we pray for the Democratic Republic of Congo, for Kenya, Malawi, Tanzania, Uganda and Zambia. And we pray for the members belonging to the family group of Southwest Peninsula, Neil Davis, Viv Davis, Timothy Gorringe and Gil Westcott, David Erison and Sally, Claire Sibley and Miles. And also for the members belonging to the family group of Solent, Jean Belgrove, Jane Rogers, Peter Rowe and Liz, and Bob Thomas. And on this day of the month, we pray for associate members in England Northwest. Walk with them today, O oh God, and keep us on your way. O oh Christ, you are within each of us. It is not just the interior of these walls. It is our own inner being you have renewed. We are your temple, not made with human hands. We are your body. If, if every wall should crumble and, and every church decay, we are your habitation. Nearer are you than breathing, closer than hands and feet. Ours are the eyes with which you, in the mystery, look out with compassion on the world. So we bless you for this place, for your directing of us, your redeeming of us, your presence among us. Take us outside, O Christ, outside holiness, to where nations clash at the crossroads of the world. So shall this building continue to be justified, and your people find cause to bless your name. Amen. This is the day that God has made. We, we will rejoice, rejoice and be glad in it. We will not offer to God offerings that cost us nothing. Go in peace to love and to serve. We will seek peace and pursue it. In the name of the Trinity of love, God in community, holy and one.